it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today I thought we would take a look at a new gadget that I have got. We have for some time had the Misty Stamper and I noticed that quite recently um, at CHA quite a few companies bought out their versions of it with different amendments and the one that I quite like the look of was We Are Memory Keepers and I also purchased one of their stamps just because I thought it would be fun so it comes in the packaging like so um, you get your stamper and some instructions on the back and quite small which is good it's not too big I didn't want anything massive but the good thing is because it only has um, sort of sides here that you butt up against that the paper comes to there but you have the opportunity for paper to sort of come out the edge here and so you could be stamping here but you could have a much bigger sheet it's got a little spongy corner there so that it keeps that flat and balanced um, you have a grid surface here so you can make sure everything's lined up and apparently these hinges work in such a way that you don't have to put anything on the base um, when you alter the stamps. So if you use a red rubber stamp as opposed to um, just a clear stamp, it should work just as good because of the way the hinges operate. So um, it's pretty basic. It's just saying, you know, position your paper, put the stamp on, press it down re-ink if you want to um, and then do the next layer and line it up so let's have a little play using this stamp set here I'm assuming this is to assist us in ensuring that each piece is put in correctly so let's have a little read so you are using this stamper you put this on wherever you want it to be on your paper so that's going to work just fine that's in that corner lovely so that's perfect so you start with the black and then the magenta then the cyan and then the yellow okay and then I'm going to get some black ink I'm actually just going to use some versifying here because my stamp and then all we need to do is make sure our paper's lined up and then shut the lid and give it a good press down and if of course it doesn't ink perfectly like it didn't there you can just go back and do it again okay so now we need to do the next layer so we're going to pull this one out and I'm using some Simon Says stamp inks here because let's now pop that down and make sure it's really stamped this time yeah. <laughs> okay so I did get a bit of an edge there but I'm not too fussed about that and then it was cyan Oh, by the way, that was doll pink that I used. And then cyan. For the cyan, I'm going to be using Simon Says Stamps Audrey Blue. And then down we go. Give it a good press. to go again because we've only done some of it and for that I am using golden locks and I'm actually not even going to attempt to try and bother cleaning up the border I don't care I feel like I've got to really press hard. Uh, I think I'm not, that one's come out fine. I'm going to try it as well with just some regular stamps and see how that works. Maybe like a stamping up stamp. Let's try. We've got a balloon here. So I'm going to use some stamping up 
ink. I've got sweet sugar plum here. Bits like so. And then okay. Position those onto the stamp like so, onto the card. And then I'm going to just position that pretty because it jumped. Pick up my card. I think I'm going to try something in a minute because I'm wondering if being right in the corner isn't the most helpful thing because it's probably the hardest to push it down and really get it to stamp when you have it right in the corner there. Okay, so we've got a nice ink on that one. And then... Because you kind of got no give in the corner in the same way as perhaps further along. But actually that one stamped fine. Let's try that again with the balloon, but let's now put it over into the middle here a bit more and see if it makes any difference. You really need to push it, I think. There's no yeah, see, it's the ink's there, but it hasn't stamped. Okay, let's see what difference it makes if we use a red rubber stamp with that extra thickness and the cushioning. Well, that feels a lot easier. Yeah, I mean, if I'd have cleaned that up, that would have been fine. So it feels like you do need something extra that like the cushioning because the thin stamps the clear stamps just don't feel thick enough even their own ones um i don't know if you put kind of something down like just a piece of card even whether that would help i'm just just curious what would happen if i put a piece of rubber down in the corner there similar position as we did just now i've done it again i put it on upside down just seeing if by putting a, like a rubber shim, as it were, for want of a better word, in the corner will make a difference. So I'm still using that um, sweet sugar plum. Of course, you sort of harder to butt the card up to the edge now, but. Well, I think that kind of proves my point really, doesn't it? It definitely needs that extra bounce. I mean, that is a perfect impression. Right. So I hope you enjoy taking a little look at this and um, I hope you found it useful to see how it works and kind of, if you've been having the same problems, I'd be interested to know if you've had the same issues with it or whether I'm just missing something completely here with what you're supposed to do. Um, then I'd be interested if you could leave a comment and let me know. Um, or if you haven't been having problems and tell me what you've been doing differently. Anyway, I hope you found it interesting. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye for now. Bye.